This time on the channel, I'm going to do some RF origami. All right, what the heck is this thing? So if you're an old CB'er, you might recognize the shape of this. Way, way back in the late 60s, Avanti Corporation made an antenna called the Astroplane. And of course it would be for CB or 11 meters, so it would have been quite a bit bigger than this one. But what I've done is I've scaled that design down to work on 2 meters. And let's, uh, let's analyze this thing and see if it actually works or not. So before we analyze this thing, let's, let's go over the construction of it just a little bit. Um, I basically just used heavy gauge copper wire, 6 gauge, from the hardware store, about 10 bucks worth. So pretty low cost to get into an antenna that should work pretty good. We'll know once we get it up in the air. But it's pretty simple construction. I just used copper and solder to put it together. And uh, on all the critical connections, I wrap that wire around the connecting wire and then put a good bead of solder in it. And uh, I had to play with the dimensions of it quite a bit to get it in tune. And you'll see that uh, in a little bit. But anyway, what my goal here is, is to come up with an antenna design that'll work for both 2 meter ham and GMRS. Now there's a bunch of antennas that work on 2 meter ham and 70 centimeter ham because as you know 70 centimeters is a multiple of 2 meters, an odd harmonic. So if we take the 2 meter frequency times 3, 146 megahertz times 3, you end up right around the 440 megahertz range which is 70 centimeter ham. But GMRS is higher than that. GMRS is 462-ish to 467-ish megahertz. Now I know it's possible to have an antenna that's resonant on both bands because both of the mobile antennas that I've run are resonant on both 2 meters and GMRS. So I know it's possible. I know also that I can't get there with a J pole because one of the unfortunate things about J poles is the matching section makes it resonant on a very narrow band of frequencies. In this case, right around 438 to 445 megahertz would be the third multiple of a J pole that's tuned for two meters. So I can't get there with a J pole. But I'm gonna keep plugging away and looking for an antenna that will get me there. Um, I've had high hopes for this and ironically it was resonant on GMRS frequencies and I had very low SWR but that's not the total story you'll see that in just a little bit so there's more to take into consideration than standing wave when you're building an antenna you also have to know how the radiation pattern is on the particular frequency that you want to run as it turns out, this one's going to be really good on 2 meter and not so good on GMRS. And we'll see that in just a little bit, but let me finish up the construction of this thing. It's just simple solder connections. You'll notice that that capacity hand at the top is quite a bit bigger than the finished product. I did that on purpose so I could snip it and tune it down to get it resonant on the frequency that I wanted. So you'll see in the final product that's going to end up quite a bit smaller than that. But Anyway, let's get this done and get it analyzed and we'll go over the results. Here's the finished product. I had to move the feed point slightly. When I first put it together, the SWR was just atrocious. So I moved the feed point down a little bit and I shortened it just a hair. And we're actually pretty close. showing that it's 1.6 to 1 at 132 megahertz so I'm going to play with the elements a little bit and see if I can get it down below that. Got it down to 1.1 and I did that by spreading the elements a little bit. 
And you can see those are spread out a little bit wider. I think that's what this wants. I think that bracket might need to be a little bit wider. But it is, it is going to tune out right here, I think. And with the final tuning, we see the Nano VNA showing very low SWR on 146 megahertz. Came out really nice. And it covers the entire two meter band as well. And then on GMRS, or no, I'm sorry, yes, GMRS. On GMRS, it's also quite low. It's below 1.5 to 1 everywhere. And here's where I model it to see what the pattern would be. I just threw together a quick and dirty model so that I could look at the radiation patterns on both two meter and GMRS frequencies. And uh, it's crude but it will give me patterns. Here's our two meter pattern, which is excellent. And we're showing almost five decibels DBI gain on it, but when we change the frequency to 462 megahertz and we run a pattern again, you can see that it's just atrocious. This is just simply not gonna work for GMRS. Most of the radiation is skyward. Although this antenna doesn't do quite what I want, I think I might just have to run it just because of the gain numbers that I'm seeing when I model it. So, yes, I'm going to have to run two antennas, one for ham and one for GMRS, but I think I'll go ahead and put it up in the air and give it a try just because it seems like it has a pretty good gain. So, thanks for following along. Thanks for watching.